we've gathered once again this year for Affinity's 14th annual Iftar. Of course, it's a month of peace, of spirituality, of cohesion, and indeed it is a privilege to be here with you all tonight. Our elders teach us that we must live lives of honour and respect, but there's also another level of requirement, and that is that we are mindful that all of our actions and all of our words go into the world and affect every living and non-living thing. We're looking forward to a great future in this country, so um, part of our involvement is to really bring forward pe people in this country to the Indigenous way of thinking Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I want to also just reflect on how important Ramadan has come into all of our lives. I think more people in New South Wales are understanding the importance that it has. This evening is also a chance for us citizens and residents of New South Wales to pay tribute to the cross-cultural friendships that lie at the heart of our success as a multicultural society. These events have reminded the need for communities to come together to support one another and to work towards building resilience in the face of diversity. In the context of Rumi's court tonight, the beauty of the plant comes from the goodness of the seed and the beauty of man comes from his heart. We can see how communities can come together to sow the seeds of goodness and cultivate beauty in the face of tragedy. We have arrived at tonight's keynote speech presented by Karen Webb, the Commissioner of the New South Wales Police Force. So New South Wales Police Force are merely members of the community that wear a blue shirt. They are drawn from all walks of life and are truly representative of the community that they work and live. The greatest thing you ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. Be at peace with God, whatever you conceive God to be. And whatever your labors and aspirations in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. 6th of February this year at 4.17 local time, a 7.8 earth magnitude earthquake struck southern Turkey and Syria. The 72 person OSO2 Disaster Assistance Response Task Force, led by Fire Rescue New South Wales and consisting of firefighters, doctors, paramedics, engineers, police, DFAT and NEMA officials deployed to Turkey to provide humanitarian aid and support the people of the Hatay province. It was very humbling to um, not only represent Australia and the mateship that we have um, as Australians, but to also see the resilience. And we had people that had lost absolutely everything that were still happy to share half a thermos of hot tea with us just to say thanks. So I'm very happy to be here. I'm very humble to be here and I'm very privileged to be part of Fire and Rescue. The Oz2 team, as Daryl mentioned, 72 personnel. Every single one of them, 72 personnel, different cultures, different religions, different beliefs, just different. But we all banded together, we formed OS2, and we flew over to Turkey in a C-17. The team that deployed to Turkey, the humility and respect that they showed to the people of Turkey, Australia should be proud. 
those men and women that went over and assisted in Turkey's time of need. In honour of those who have lost lives, homes, families, we would like to include an expression of sentiments as part of our gathering here tonight. As Muslims, we are reminded of the fragility of life and our own existence and the importance of turning to God in times of hardship. And as we pause and reflect on those who've lost lives, who've lost loved ones, I'd like to acknowledge our brave responders that the Catholic Church urges her people to work sincerely with Muslims for mutual understanding. We recognize that our fates are intertwined and it is our collective responsibility to support and uplift one another. Wisdom in the Buddhist tradition is seeing clearly, seeing clearly that we are no different from each other and that there is no sense in I and mine and you and yours. What drives us and what should bind us and does bind us is our common humanity, our common empathy and the natural environment in which we live. Misfortune, dread may never come. Bountiful rains come well in time. May rulers always be righteous. A moment to pray for all those families and victims of all natural disasters. In our prayer we say, Ya Allah, O oh Allah, have mercy on the victims of the recent natural disasters. I have a message here also, um, an expression of sentiment from the Chief, Ex Chief Executive of the Jewish Board of Deputies, Darren Bark. His message reads, on behalf of the Jewish community, I would like to express our solidarity with our Muslim brothers and sisters during this holy time of Ramadan. As you celebrate the Feast of Iftar, we stand with you in spirit and offer our warmest wishes for peace and prosperity. We'd like to inv uh, invite our guest of honour uh, to the stage, the 2023 Australian local hero, Amar Singh. I sing this tune of diversity, multiculturalism, acceptance. Not that I need to, because I want to. Because I know there's so much good in our society, so much love, so much compassion. We all need to build on that, so we leave Australia a better place than what we found. Open your heart, open your hands, open your home. Look after each other. We have a lot of food in this country. We have a lot of love in this country. Megan Davies sort of reminded us that the least we can do, support the voice, the indigenous voice to parliament. That's the least we can do. This is a great nation, but we have work to do, plenty of work to do. And I think tonight, as you go here, as you go away in peace, um, thinking of fellowship, thinking of harmony, thinking of charity, I want you to think of families, your families, all families. Uh, it truly was an inspirational evening and thank you so much for allowing me to host um, Affinity and Ahmed. It was a real pleasure. Thank you all and have a very good night.